What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video, third video of the day. And today we have some primetime packs. These just released, if you guys have been paying attention to Twitter, and this content just released at 4 o'clock. Me personally, I want to see a fan of this content, not going to lie. Packs are a little expensive, and I have absolutely no VC. So, um, yeah, as you guys know, we're no money spent. We're literally no money spent. The most money I spent on this game was the $100, and then I got banned. So we're on my, we're on um, a different console, so we don't get banned from here. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, likes, subs, comments would all be appreciated, man. Literally, it would be very, very appreciated, man. All the likes, all the comments, all the subs. I will answer every comment down below. Every comment will be answered. If you guys do need MT, I might have MT in stock today. Hit me up for MT. I buy and sell MT on Instagram and Twitter. And also, if you guys are just sports cards, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. We do breaks. We sell packs. All that good stuff. But anyways, let's go over this content. We got Timmy D. We got Chris Paul. I wish I had a little bit of MT to pop, but let's see if any of these dudes are... This is called the what? What is this even called? Prime time. This is prime time. So, no diamond prime times yet. The diamonds are going to be super hard to pull. But guys, since there is new content today, there could be a ton of snipes. And I mean a ton. A ton of snipes today. This Marvin Badgley... I'm going to go over every player. You know what? This Marvin Badgley is a very good card. Especially at Sapphire. His defense definitely lacks. But for a 6'11 power forward that can somewhat shoot and definitely, definitely really good on the offensive end... He's going to be a pretty much a game changer. As you guys know, this is my second account. I was at 100 KMT grinded on my first account. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that anymore. We're definitely going to be trying to snipe today, guys. The auction is going to be absolutely flooded. We are going to try to snipe all these cards. I would pay attention to the Amethyst. Bradley Beal is a really good card as well. Three-point shot at an 87 mid-range. He's going to be amazing on offense. He's a good defensive player, but they didn't give any defensive stats, so... Let's see what kind of badges he's got. Volume shooter, catch and shoot, difficult shots, mishmack expert, blinders, limitless spot up. Boost the range I can efficiently score three-point shots, so that's really good. That badge is a game changer. Set shooter. I'm not a fan of set shooter, but honestly, Bradley Beal is pretty much a set shooter, I would say. He is a pretty good step up. He also has stop and pop, though, so that really doesn't make sense, um, in my opinion. I guess he has both badges. Set shooter might ruin the card. I'm not totally sure. Circus threes. This man has all the badges you want. He's going to be a deadly shooter. He's going to be a game changer. You guys are going to definitely want this card. Let's go over Mr. Stackhouse. Age 38. Age 38. Eight, uh, 90. All right. Let's check out one thing. Bradley Beal's defense is a 73. Stackhouse is an 84. So really good shot. Three-point shots at 80. Not amazing, but pretty good. Driving dunks at 85. That's really good as well. Let's check out his passing. His steal. His defense is definitely better than Bradley Beal. He's definitely more of a small forward than a shooting guard, in my opinion. What is he? 6'6"? Six, six? You can play him at shooting guard, too. Jerry Stackhouse is always decent. He's no, never amazing, but maybe this card is amazing. 84 speed. 81 speed with ball. Looks pretty damn good to me. 6'6". Six, six. He probably doesn't have the best three-point shooting badges. He has dead eye, which is really good. He's going to be a good... Hot Zone Hunter Gold's really good as well. I do not think, yeah, he doesn't have that many badges. Beal's the better shooter. Jerry Stackhouse is the more all-around better player. Now, looking at this guy, I think he's one of the most underrated players in the league, in my opinion, by far. He's got to be one of the most underrated players in the league. It, he has, he is one the, mo the most underrated players in the league, in my opinion. All-around, a spot-up shooter. In my opinion, he reminds me of Kevin Love. People are going to disagree. There's always haters. He reminds me of Kevin Love. He could shoot. He could play post. He's just good. He's just really good on the offensive end. On the defensive end, he's not good. He's just good offensively. He's a very good offensive player. I recommend this card. He's probably going to be a game changer at power forward. And he's going to be cheap. Probably around 8K. Um, so looking at the speed, he's not, too, he's not too slow. He's matching up with Zion. Then again, I have to make this Zion a Sapphire. I almost had a Ruby on my main account. But this card is definitely a game changer. I would honestly recommend this card. This card's pretty damn good. Looking at his badges, corner specialist. That's nice. That's what you want in a power forward, especially this down. Sniper, put back boss, rise up. That's about it. Um, I forgot. Badges. Oh, he has hot zone hunter, corner specialist, set shooter, rhythm shooter, hot zone hunter. Upgradable badges. You can upgrade all these badges. Can't shoot from deep, though. That's kind of an L. 
But uh, let's see what we get. Maybe get some quick little sniper rooskies here with my 20, 2900 MT. Um, let's go over to diamond cards now. Let's see if there is any diamond cards. I know Shaq and Deron Williams is still up there. Like, they're still really, really expensive. They also fixed the scroll, if you guys are paying attention. They fixed the scroll of this very, very well. Honestly, good job. Uh, I think Six Man Stab is in charge of this. But uh, this Chris Paul, since point guards are short as of right now, this Chris Paul is filthy. And you know what? He has amazing defense. This is the best point guard in the game, and it's not even close. If anyone gets one of these players, if anyone pulls any of these players, please let me know. I would love to run a gameplay with these cards. Either Chris Paul or even Tim Duncan. I would love to run a gameplay with these cards. Tim Duncan, as you guys know, one of the best mid-range big men of all time. He is the bank, the backboard king. And you know what I'm surprised? They don't give him an animation of the backboard king. Because all his mid-ranges should go on the backboard, bro. But looking at his offense, is amazing. Can't shoot, but it's Tim Duncan. He's a beast. Um, defensively, very good. Down, down low in the interior, he's going to be a beast. Obviously, rebounding is going to be a beast. He is the best power forward in the game. So now we have the best point guard in Chris Paul. Deron Williams is the second best point guard. Tim Duncan is a power forward. And then we got um, Shaquille O'Neal at center. Shaq Diesel, as you guys know, is one of the best players in the game, especially down low. Deron Williams, guys, is going to drop down in price very, very quickly. Even though he is still really good, you're going to see a lot better point guards coming in soon. And uh, wait a second. We didn't even look at Chris Paul's badges. We got to go back to Chris Paul's badges. Um, what is he on the Suns on this team? I think he's on the Suns, so we're gonna go with Suns. Yeah, Chris Paul, 92. Dimer, of course, mismatch expert, floor general, teardropper, ankle breaker, glue hands, pickpocket. He's gonna be a beast. Gold clamps, so big, so big. Here's all his badges. Tyhanos, unpluckable, clutch shooter, bullet passer. I mean, this man's a G. He's gonna be a G. And shooting wise, definitely should have gave him a little bit. All right, now he has good silver shooting badges. Handles for days, set shooter, dead eye. Yeah, this car's gonna be a beast. Silver, dude, bronze and silver badges still make a big difference, especially at this point of the game. Bronze, hot zone, circus threes. Dude, Chris Paul's gonna be a G. I'm gonna be trying to snipe today. I'm looking more towards Amethyst. Definitely trying to get my MT up to at least 10K to make at least a little bit of moves because I have no MT and it kind of sucks. It really does kind of suck. But um, honestly, other than that, I'm gonna play some triple threat online. And that's really going to be it for the video. Um, as of right now, to make MT, I would honestly pay attention to the rubies. I feel like the rubies are going to be the most flooded. They're going to be the most, they're going to have the most movement. Even though there is only a Lori Markkinen, I think the rubies still will have the most movement. Also the Amethyst as well. But yo, definitely keep your eyes on the primetime cards, man. People might throw these up for snipes. They're new packs. The, new, the game's new. People might know, not know what the hell they're doing. But as you guys can see, the Amethysts are already starting to get flooded. Which is exactly what we want to see. And honestly, that's how you will make MT. Another thing is, let's look at Giannis. Giannis' price is dropping and dropping and dropping. He is so OP. You want a Giannis on the squad. If you could use this Giannis consistently, he is going to be an absolute G. But yo, other than that, that is all we really honestly got for the video. I want to hear what you guys think. We're going to start grinding this account today. I've been a little busy over the last couple days. But yes, we will grind today. And um, guys, if you're still watching this, make sure to sell your sapphires, sell your rubies, get rid of them before it's too late. But uh, yeah, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys did enjoy. Pack opening Friday, not today. Have a good one, boys. Peace.